for the sign of Libra. Hello and welcome to my channel. So Libra, in the recent past we have gift. On the flip side of gift, it reads, grace is a gift from God. We don't need to work hard to earn it. Feel worthy enough to deserve it or surrender our needs to receive it. The gift of grace is our birthright. And gift is paired with flirt. Flirt, it reads, extend your lighthearted energy to others. Now, in the recent past, I'm picking up that you were probably the type that a lot of people were either attracted to, drawn to, or just felt comfortable around because you had a lot of uh, special qualities and um, so you knew this people made you aware of it and you probably did a lot of flirting because you knew that you had this certain um, magnetism or magnetic energy that people liked so you extended your lighthearted energy to others. So you were probably a very charismatic type of person in the recent past. And it was a good thing. Uh, it made you feel like you were probably a gift from God. Because not everyone has that, that type of pull. A lot of people wish they could pull, pull people towards them like that. Maybe you just had the gift of gab. A lot of people are gifted like that too. Uh, so that's you, Libra, in the recent past. Let's move on down. Let's take a look at the present time. We have Temperance and Queen of Pentacles. Now the Temperance, um, it's about your relationships. They're going really well. They Or they will be in the month of March. But you need to look at some deep personal issues and see if or how they're standing in your way. And if they are, try to find out how to work through them and integrate them. The idea is to find out what it takes to find balance in yourself and in your relationships and with your goals and aspirations. When Temperance talks about love and relationship, it's about um, knowing that before you can really have peace and wisdom in your relationships, you'll need to have peace within yourself. So take a look at what you feel guilty about. Any mistakes that you feel you've made in your past, then forgive yourself and let it go. Because I say this, I'm saying this because it's really the only way you can truly make progress in life. And with things going forward. Now, the temperance is paired with Queen of Pentacles. This current Queen of Pentacles, it's about probably spending some time, money and energy, on your home, getting it to be more comfortable. Uh, this is a good thing, provided you don't take on too much debt. People, they'll probably be looking, they'll probably be looking to you for some type of insight or advice. And you'll be able to help them if you decide to do so. This is a time period when you're going to get a whole lot accomplished in March. When this Queen of Pentacles talks about love and relationships, uh, it's a very feminine card. It points to strategy. So, for those who are not involved, if there's some single Libras out there listening, um, the strategy for you when you get this Queen of Pentacles is... To find love in a way that's stereotypical, stereotypically feminine. Yeah, a feminine strategy. Use a feminine strategy. Don't chase it. But you want to make yourself available, but don't appear to be desperate to bring someone new into your life. Because when the time is right, it's going to be made abundantly clear to you and you will not have to do backflips. To make something come about. So just be upbeat and know that you have many things to offer. And that you're worth loving. So basically for your present time, 
Queen of Pentacles and Temperance. Um, you might feel like doing a lot of work around the house. You're going to feel more comfortable or trying to get your home to be more comfortable. Yeah, and um, it's, it might help you find balance. Because the Temperance is about trying to find balance and peace within yourself. A lot of times if our home is cluttered or there's a lot of chaos going on, uh, things become imbalanced and you don't know why things are imbalanced, but it could have a lot to do with your home. So maybe you're realizing this um, for March and so you may be doing some spring cleaning, spring cleaning and um, it's going to um, probably make you take a look at some deep personal issues. Okay. And uh, knowing that uh, it'll make you realize that uh, before you can really have peace and wisdom in, your, in yourself or your relationships, uh, you have to have peace within yourself. So something about your home is going to bring this to the forefront. Something. So that's what we have for you in the present time. Now let's move on over. Let's take a look at how, how your person, how they see you. They see you as... The Page of Wands, and they also see you as the Page of Pentacles. Now, the Page of Wands is about warm, ambitious, and high achievers. Warm, ambitious, high achievers. If this is not an actual person, the Page of Wands is about energy of easy distraction. So you might need to try to stay focused. Uh, this card is about things that you probably started some time ago they're starting to come to fruition it can also show a need for new adventures new approaches new ideas this card brings a very positive energy very positive but you have to supply the follow-through when page of wands talks about love and relationships there's some type of message of love and affection someone wants to uh, send you a love note someone wants to say I love you it's coming your way and if you're single if there's some single Libras out there listening there's someone new that's coming in and this person will have for a lot of you Libras just someone's someone new who's coming in all right I'm not saying all Libras but when you get this page of wands someone new who have, who you have a lot in common with and this person, person will be very adventuresome. They may be about to burst into your world when you get this page of wands. So you might want to take a chance on them only if you're really and truly single, you're available. And if you're committed and unhappy, now would be the time to decide if the relationship can be saved or not and how long you're going to try to make it happen. So... This is how your person is seeing you as this page of wands. They also see you as the page of pentacles. Now, the page of pentacles is about if you're in a committed relationship, it could have lost some of its lost lost some of its luster, but it doesn't mean that it's the end. It, but it just means that action and discussion is necessary. So, um, a lot of talk. Someone may want to talk. Okay, have some discussions. Uh, to create change, you have to be honest about how you're feeling. And if you're unattached and single and you get the Page of Pentacles and cannot seem to meet someone new, take a look at what you're holding in your heart. You may still be attached to an ex, someone from the past. So you may need to let go of that before you can expect to move forward. So this is how they see you also. Your person is... Seeing you as this page of pentacles and page of wands, they see you as uh, wanting to continue to explore this connection. They see you as excited about this connection, but they possibly see you as maybe going in circles with the page of wands. You're going in circles, but you um, you want to. Um, uh, I say going in circus, per, circles about something is because Page of Wands, like I said, it's about getting easily distracted. So they they see you as needing to stay focused, but like I said, they um, see you as wanting to continue to um, 
explore this connection. Um, could see you as bringing love to this connection with the Page of Wands. And because the Page of Pentacles is there, uh, they see you trying to do these things because uh, they think that the connection is probably lost some of its luster. So um, you're being ambitious and diligent regarding them and the connection. So you might try to shake things up a little bit just to bring some type of excitement back to this connection. And that's how they see you, Page of Wands and Page of Pentacles. Let's move on over. Let's take a look at how you see them. You see them as a Page of Swords and the Six of Cups. Now, the Page of Swords, um, it could stand for an actual person. And if this is the case, the page represents a person who's younger than you. It could be by a few days. It could be by years. Um... The page, it also indicates messages. Once again, more messages. Um, this incident with the page of swords, because you hear the word swords, the messages are probably not what you're hoping to hear. It tells you that uh, someone could be trying too hard, pushing too fast, or stepping on your toes. And you'll have to study the body language of others. And consider how well you do or do not accept criticism from others. Constructive criticism, maybe. Um, you could have a great deal of mental and physical energy at this time. So you have to use it wisely. When the Page of Swords talks about love and relationships, it's about some type of mild conflict. You have to know when to push and when to back off. Because many fights and discussions, they're actually not worth having. As long as your person, your partner, is treating you with respect. So allow your partner to have his or her own space. This is going to be crucial for happiness. And if you're unattached, get, once again, get out there socialize. Because we all know love, it just doesn't drop out of the sky by itself. At least I haven't seen it do that. Has anyone seen that love drop out of the sky? If so, please leave a comment and tell us what happened. Where were you? Because <laughs> I'll try to send some people over that way. Because a lot of people that just sit back and think love is going to knock on their door. So if you did find it dropped out of the sky for you or somebody else, please leave a comment, guys. Help us out. So this is how you see your person. You see them as this page of swords. Pushing too hard, maybe stepping on your toes. Ouch. Or saying things that you just don't want to hear. I'm sorry, Libras. You see them as um, bringing some mild conflict. Yeah, with the page of swords, but... It's with the Six of Cups. Now, the Six of Cups, when it talks about love and relationships, it can indicate that a relationship needs to be refocused towards the future. Talk about your goals and dreams. Try new things. With the Six of Cups, it's important not to be stuck in the past. Now, on occasions, this card could be someone returning from your past, a reappearance of an old lover. So think long and hard before restarting an old romance because we know exes are exes for a reason. So you see them, are they an ex? Are they someone from your past? Did you take them back and they, they were someone that you used to date? But uh, this could be possible. But basically, you see them as, like I said, bringing some conflict to this connection with this page of swords and you also see them as either their past person or you could see them as possibly thinking about the good old days or thinking about how things used to be with with um you and them because remember we talked about 
how someone was thinking the connection had lost some of its luster. So someone could, you could see them as thinking about how things used to be when you guys first started dating. Or you could see them as possibly sticking in this connection because they're comfortable or it's familiar. Okay, so once again, that's how you see them. So let's move on over. Let's take a look at why it's all happening. It's happening due to Seven of Pentacles and the Star card. Now, Seven of Pentacles is very, very... Um, it's a good card when it comes to returns on investments. Now, this could mean a bank account returning money to you or such as an investment of time and effort, energy that you put into a relationship. Just keep in mind, you'll be reaping, you'll be reaping what you have sown when you get the Seven of Pentacles. Like I said, this is positive. You should be feeling more secure than you have in a while. Things should be moving along pretty good. Things sh will be moving along very well. And you'll be feeling hopeful about the future with a really good cause. You may have to decide whether to put your energy into things, people, and situations that you already are involved with or whether to spend your energy trying to bring more into your life. So you're going to have to choose wisely. Now, when the Seven of Pentacles talks about love and relationships, when it comes to love, it points to things going really well. Possibly for the person that you have your heart set on. And if you are not in a committed relationship, with the Seven of Pentacles, you may need to be open to other possibilities. Because just know that none of us have just one person that is the only person that we can be with and have a deep, soulful, happy relationship. Uh, a lot of people think that there's only one soulmate, but there are plenty of those. Plenty. So don't give in to the feelings of suspicion, suspicion or fear. Just know that all is well when you get the Seven of Pentacles. And that's one of the reasons why it's all happening, due to the Seven of Pentacles. Now, it's it's with the Star card. Now, the Star card is a, um, is a very good card, actually. Very good card. Um, it's about feeling really inspired, feeling really hopeful about the future, um, feeling secure and confident that your needs will be met or that they are being met, whether emotional or financial or both. Uh, confidence is at a peak. It's a spiritual card. You could be uh, wanting to connect with your spirituality so, why it's all happening? Seven of Pentacles. You see this lady at, at the top of why it's all happening? You see this lady, she's pouring water into a plant. That means she wants it to grow. So you or your person, wants, you or your person or both of you, wants this connection to grow. Someone really wants to make it work. Okay? Someone wants to feed it. Someone wants to nurture it. And because it's with a star card, someone, you, your person, or both of you, uh, you're very hopeful about this connection. You have a lot of faith in this connection. There's a lot of possibly inner clarity, renewal. There's a lot of hope, faith, faith in this connection. So... That's why it's all happening. Uh, these are two good cards. So, I don't see you guys going anywhere anytime soon. Because of the star cards and this seven of pentacles. Uh, a lot of times, um, that can be all it takes. 
that can be all it takes is these two great things to keep a connection going. Um, like I said, these are two great cards. Hopefully you, both of you are the ones that really want it to work. Because if it's the both of you, then uh, kudos to you. you. You got something good there. If it's just one of you, then maybe the other is the, the star. The one who uh, a lot of times feel rejuvenated and really hopeful. So it could go either way, or like I said, it could be the both of you feeling really great about the connection for the most part. And we all know that uh, relationships or uh, uh, relationships or, or love they have is difficulties, but uh, when you got uh, these two cards, it's a good thing. So like I said, I don't see you two going anywhere anytime soon, Libra. Soon, Libra. Soon, Libra.